hello hello everyone uh, this is the energy of the week for the week of Monday October the 4th through Sunday October the 10th we have a new moon coming up so make sure that you are thinking about what you want to create for the next six months we're shifting um, into a darker time of the year please be aware that some of us suffer from seasonal depression and other things during this time please hold space for those if you do not please be gentle and understanding with yourself if you do Let's see what our energy of the week has for us. What do we need to be aware of? What do we need to focus on? Do, 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 do. I have a bunch of stuff piled right here. <laughs> Something that's coming up right now is um, being able to really protect yourself against all of the lower vibrations that are clearing out at this time. Um, there is a lot, <clears throat> a lot of truths that are coming out that are going to be causing chaos and going to be putting us in a state where we question our truth. It's hard. It's it's very important right now that you are aware of your truth, that you're finding your truth, that you're working on what your truth is because of everything that is coming to everything that is being revealed at this time over the next four weeks so um just be aware of that and question everything question everything just like when you were a child and you used to question you know, ask the question, well, why? Well, why this? Well, why that? Don't be afraid to question and stand out and not go with the flow of the, the crowd. Okay, let's see. It looks like we could run into some possible relationship issues this week. Um, you know, with it being Mercury, you know, went into retrograde last week and we still have some exes popping up. We still have some relationships that need to be either worked on or released at this time for our highest and best. Don't continue to just stuff your feelings and stuff what you're going through and stuff how you're feeling when it comes to your relationship. I feel that there is a lot of you that are... Um, not vocalizing your needs, your wants, your desires because you're afraid of being too much or you're afraid of being accused of not being able to be satisfied or you're, you know, afraid that someone's going to tell you that, you know, you should be more grateful or whatever. So you continue to repress and suppress all of that frustration, that anger, that, and it, it will build into resentment, friends. So, Please do not suffer in silence. There are others out there like you that feel the same way, that are going through the same thing, and it's important for you to exercise your voice. Um, let's see what else. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. Some of you have some really great ideas that you're trying to manifest, and this is a great time to plant those seeds. So we plant the seeds and then we take action. That's how we do this. I feel like you've been sitting on some things for some while, for some whiles, 
for a while that you want to get out there. Launch that program, start that hobby, um, you know, make that phone call, send out those resumes, whatever it is you're trying to do that you've been wanting to do, do that. Do it. Do what you've been wanting to do. Um, just recently I completed my um, sending my <laughs> my deck my af my affirming deck to print and then receiving it and now it's you know I'm taking pre-orders on it and it was something that I dreamt about for a very long time and I never took action and then one day I was just like okay it's time and I pushed myself through the process it's just taking that first little step and then one little step and then one little step I know it looks overwhelming the big picture of everything um, it looks overwhelming starting that new project starting that new relationship starting that new job you know starting on that new dating site whatever it is that you want to do that's in your heart um, but it's just one little step at a time and you'd be surprised as you're going through the process one little step at a time that it all just kind of comes together I'm not sure who that was for um, but it was for someone I'm also hearing something around um, collaborations be aware of those who want to collaborate with you make sure that you're collaborating with those who have the same vision idea purpose that you do that you can mesh well with um, don't get into something where you don't really resonate with the person's message you just want to grow so you're just like okay let's go ahead and collaborate make sure that you are checking who you're aligning with at this time because i feel like there's some partnerships alliances collaborations that are going to fall through that are not going to go the way that you plan them to go because you didn't follow your gut instinct and this is probably not a good idea that was a big one that was a big one so that was a big release um be aware of that looks like that's all that i've got for you this week um speaking of speaking your truth and um those kinds of things i have a um i have a past life integration session coming up it's a collective it's a group it's in a group session um, it's $22 and 22 cents. I will put the link down below if you'd like to register for that. Um, what it will consist of is releasing anything around fear of persecution, the throat chakra, and fear of leadership because we need people to rise and speak their truth boldly. We need people to let go of the fear of that comes along with having many lifetimes of being persecuted and um you know if being called magical or mystical or a witch or a cuyandera or um, a witch doctor or any of those things are offensive to you but you are but you are practicing witchcraft or even if that is offensive to you have you ever looked into why well um when I looked into that about myself, I found that I had been persecuted many lifetimes and I needed to release that fear around persecution in order to be able to be seen and to speak my truth boldly. And I do that now. Um, I do that. I'm very transparent about who I am. I speak my truth and my truth is my truth just as your truth is your truth and nobody's truths are going to be completely in resonance because we all have our own filters however if you have a hard time finding your truth if you have a hard time with fear and being seen and worrying that there's this irrational or there's this deep-seated fear around expressing your gifts and being seen as a queen that a witch a you know a a practicing magical person then this might be for you 
Um, I just wanted to throw that out there. So it's going to be October the 15th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm also going to create a Facebook group where the replay will be available for that. So if you have any questions, you can also feel free to message me and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a beautiful and a blessed existence, my friends. Keep dreaming the best dreams. Because you deserve them.